Hey, welcome to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays with me, the cook and comedian Vic Clevenger. As you can tell, last week uh, we started like working out with wine because you can see my guns are bigger. I got red wine, it's heavier. Hey, but we're gonna do some red wine sauce today with our ribeyes. And first thing we're gonna do, we got four great ribeyes. Look at that. Uh, straight from the store, straight from the butcher. And what we're gonna do is gonna do some salt and pepper, put them on a hot pan. Uh, my Gotham Steel non-stick pan, and we're going to put this wine, we got some red wine, we got some water, we got some garlic, I got some butter slices that I need to put in there a little later, and we're going to get to all that, but first, we got to season our, season our steaks. The seasoning, the salt and pepper brings out a lot of the flavoring of the steaks, so you'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on all sides of them, and then you'll put them right on. Do the pepper. We gotta get this done because, well, the girls will be home a little bit, and then if we don't have dinner ready, then we will be in trouble. Say hi, Christian. Hi. That's my son-in-law. So he's helping out today. I get help from everybody because, you know, it takes a village to cook a steak. So I'll turn these over. And we'll get this on here, and then we'll put them on the hot, hot skillet. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of oil down the bottom of our pan for some more flavoring. And I just got some regular vegetable oil, just a little tablespoon, just to get it going around. Don't need the oil for the non-stick uh, when you're using a Gotham steel pan, because it's non-stick. You're doing it more for the, the flavoring and to get some of the spices to adhere to, uh, to the steaks. It helps the cake steaks cook better. So now we're going to toss our steaks in there. Listen to that sizzle. So what you want is it's going to be about um, three or four minutes on either side to get the uh, to get a medium rare, and then you'll take them off, put them on the plate, and then you'll put some tin foil over it and get all that. Once you get the steaks pulled off, then that's when we start making our red wine sauce. All right, so we got our steaks done. What we're going to do is do our sauce. So what I'm going to do is remove these from the fire, cover them up with the aluminum foil that I've got pre-made right here. Get them over here. Got four. There's always something going on. Dump your uh, two teaspoons, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon of garlic down here. We're going to saute it around. Until it gets a little, a little pale, reduce the heat a little bit to medium, medium high. It takes just a few seconds. Where'd my wine go? There it is. We're going to have three quarters of a cup of Thousand Islands red wine in here. You need to go to Thousand Islands and get you some red wine. And then a little bit of water. And then you'll let this reduce down to about uh, to about half of what it is. Remove my barbecue sauce because that's a whole other show. Don't look at that. Don't look at the barbecue. It's secret. Top secret. So we'll let this cook for about two or three minutes. And then we'll pull the juices off the steaks and pour them right on top of that. One of the things we need to also add in there, if we get this up to a boil, as you can see, it's all kind of boiling over, kind of reducing it a little bit. We'll add a little bit of uh, soy sauce to it to get the uh, get some added uh, saltiness to it. About a teaspoon and a half, and then it'll be marvelous, in the words of uh, the guy from Billy Crystal, the guy from Saturday Night Live, and uh, when Mary hit Sally. Not when Mary hit Sally, when Harry met Sally. That's what it was. All right, so we've added our red wine from Thousand Islands Winery up in Alexandria Bay, New York. We've added our garlic, we've added our water, we've added our soy sauce. Now we're going to put in a little bit of butter. You're going to put them in, it's three tablespoons of butter. Uh, put them in one chunk at a time, kind of help melt it down, and it helps thicken it up just a little bit. 
and as hot as it is, it should get on there. And plus it adds that extra layer of fat. So while you're doing all this, you can also scrape around all the little brown pieces where you've pan seared your steak. And uh, get all those brown pieces all mixed up there so it all tastes nice and yummy. Because who would want a steak that doesn't taste yummy? That'd just be horrible. That'd be like a waste of a cow. Why would you waste a cow for a steak that didn't taste yummy? That's just not even right. That's like communism or something. Or vegetarianism. That's horrible. This all melted around. You can also use your whisk to whisk this around if you want to. Kind of help thicken it up a little bit. Or not. If you're like me, you just don't want to dirty the dishes. I hate washing dishes. I could be a great cook if it went for all the dishwashing that they make me do. Who likes washing dishes? Nobody. Nobody likes washing. The reason why I eat on paper plates. When I get done with this, I'll take a picture of it, a nice pretty plate, 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 and then I'll put it on a, a paper plate. Just because I don't want to wash any more dishes. Let that simmer for about a couple minutes, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so we got the red wine sauce. I've got a plate all plated up with a nice big ribeye, a loaded baked potato. Put a little bit of this here, red wine sauce. Over top of it. And then let's give us a bite and see how it tastes. Put it on the proper side. See, now look, when they set things up, they put the knife over here and the fork over here. I don't eat that away. I have to do it like this in order to eat. So whoever come up with this here etiquette thing, except I do have to cut this hand. A nice medium rare. A big old bite. You got the wine flavor coming out. The garlic, the butter, delicious. Check this recipe out in the comments below. Talk to y'all later. I got things to eat. I can put this on a paper plate because then somebody's gonna wash this dish because I ain't gonna do it.